Is this her guest area? Uh, kind of. Toilet area? Closet? And it was free. Ah, I see. She should be happy. Shower area. Curious wellness area. You see the direct, like the grain? If you're going to have cheaper wood, you might as well have the best wood. The best? Yeah, it looks nice. You can finish yeah, it. That. You don't have to paint it. You can actually just stain it. It looks great. And I like Reed's work. Everything's straight. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on with uh, CC's van. What's up? Buttercup? Tell me what's up. It looks like the Alpha Cool's in. The Pure Sign Inverter, I see. The fuse block is yeah. in. She got a VMAX uh, AGM battery that needs to be installed. And you put a latch on this, but it slides out. And and how come she got one of those? I don't have one of those. Uh -huh. You gotta know around here, Reed. I know. You gotta, you gotta know the right people, Jamie. <laughs> Tell us what you did. Well, uh, thankfully, uh, Eric Wanderboom, or Vanderboom, he goes by Wanderboom, uh, was up the road and uh, he's a friend of mine that we built together before. And I was like, hey, I need your help in this project. So he came up here and he talked to CC. And we, and this is actually uh, your buddy uh, It was up at the main camp, and I forget his name. I'll think of it later. Anyway, he uh, he had a rig that uh, CC really liked. Uh, as far as putting the bed up front, kind of a galley Jason. kitchen. Jason. Yes. So we uh, this really was uh, you know uh, emulated after that design. And uh, as far as measuring it out and making sure the cabinetry and, and everything is cut, you know, well I did that one, but he did all this. Uh, this is way nice, way nicer than mine. Look at this. Well, you know. I guess when you have a carpenter do it instead of me. So one thing that I uh, I actually talked to Cece about, and uh, oh, we're taking a piece of trim. That's okay. That we'll put that on. Um, one thing I talked to Cece about is uh, it's nice to have areas where you can put bins, like uh, like in uh, Tamara's rig. Right. She keeps all of her stuff in those big you know upper things in, in bins. So Cece just said, "Don't give me drawers. I want bins. I'll go get bins. It's great." So. It uh, simplified the uh, build a little bit, but we gave her nice areas for her to put uh, stuff underneath the closet back there, underneath the bed right here. The bed actually comes out, and uh, it. And this was actually nice, right? And then when you want to travel or be in it, boom, just like that. Pretty nice for short notice, wouldn't you say? Yep. We and did form fitted this uh, back piece of wood. Yep. Everything's form fit to the outside edge. It's all uh, screwed in to the, to the metal. And this door right here, this is for a future sink and water, so she can put water jugs in there. This was actually designed to be able to put two of them side by side. One's fresh, one's gray. So one's fresh, one's gray, and then she, the sink will go up here whenever she gets it. She's Good ready. job. She's ready to rock and roll. So under here, she's getting two more batteries. So we made extra cleats for the batteries to go in for solar when, okay. they, when they put those in. And uh, yeah. And next year, if she's down here again, uh, I'm gonna bring some uh, wood from a mill in Kremlin, Colorado, where I get a lot of my pine beetle kill. And uh, I'm gonna bring a whole bunch of it down. Just so I can, I like to be able to do some stuff for some people where it's like, it's really like finished. Right, because I don't feel like this is really finished. Well, you know, it, the idea, but it gets you down the road. Yeah, yeah. The idea of the van build is help people get a little bit better right. than they were than they came, and right. to take time away from somebody else who doesn't have anything to deck out somebody else. I mean, it's, it's your call because it's your labor and your resources and everything. But we're trying to get people a little bit better. I, I appreciate where your heart is with that. Well, that's if people want to do it themselves. I'll have okay. the to do it. Okay, and that it'll, sounds it'll good. It'll look very, very Colorado, which absolutely. And I see that uh, Steampunk Steve and Aaron put Steve the Punk Steve, fan which he's, in. he's hey Steve, there he is, Steampunk Steve. Which Steve, Steve and I are actually friends. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> <laughs> neither of us other friends believe that we're friends. Right. Which is hey, kind of would this work for a latch? That would be perfect for a latch. That's a bigger one. Absolutely. Thank you. I'll put that on. I got I got two, two and a half more. Well, there you go. I just need one, not two and a half. So we got the construction, the carpentry work is done. Fan's the done. The fantastic fan is installed. The appliances are in place. The not pure sign up. wave inverter and the Alpacool uh, refrigerator and the fuse blocks got to go in. The batteries got to go in. See all the edges? Rather than just leaving it just, you know, oh, yeah. like we do with every, everything else. <laughs> We're doing it quick and, and quick and easy. We trimmed everything with... Uh, 
It's yeah, this might, latches might. might actually be too too thick for that, yeah. but yeah. nothing so. that can't be overcome. There you go. Good, Good job. job. Turned out nice. Good job. Oh, you forgot the one inch uh, poly ISO. We fixed the floor. Uh, all rust uh, uh rust inhibitor on the bottom first. Uh, we did uh, one inch insulation with uh, uh, the half inch uh, sub floor. And we face framed it over here just so it looks nice and pretty. That way it's, it's ready for flooring. That's probably the way we didn't uh, bolt this thing down. It really it slides. But that way she can put all of her flooring down and this will actually slide on top of the flooring. and make it nice. So. It, this is a great home. This is a great home for anybody. You yeah. know, I've, I've got friends that uh, that came from corporate and they got bought out of their mm -hmm. contracts and had budgets to die for. Right. And their rigs didn't come out this nice. So this is amazing. It, uh, it turned out nice. Yep. How, how many years ago did you did they build that for you? Uh, two and a half. <laughs> Two and a half years ago, yeah. Right. And I was just saying, last night CC uh, was so stoked and just like saying, I can't believe, I never thought I was gonna be this happy from being that sad, you know? Anyways, I was, yeah, I'm super excited for her. I, I mean, I know what it feels like. Hey, she's part of your club now. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, no, I was excited for her. I'm like, yeah, this is Very good Very exclusive club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, actually, not that much around here. Like, a lot of people get hooked up. It's getting bigger. Yeah, people get hooked up in different and varying degrees, you know, but, you know, it seems like everything's provided for in the community. Whatever anyone needs turns up. The solar we're not going to have time for. We are down to everybody's got to be gone tomorrow, but saying that we don't have time for it at the van build doesn't mean we don't have time to install it. CC bought a bunch of stuff. You know, what you're seeing here, the materials that you're seeing here are all donations, largely off the GoFundMe. The Fantastic Fan was bought, or the Max Fan was bought off the GoFundMe, so that's you guys that did that. Some of the things she needed for solar she didn't have, such as uh, the solar controller. I think uh, her boyfriend picked up the cost of that, but uh, a lot of mechanical work was done. A windshield was replaced. Uh, there were some other things I'd have to get with Dave to see exactly what it was. I think two tires and a starter battery were replaced, and maybe a fuel filter. It wasn't getting fuel pressure. It was throwing some codes. But uh, all the mechanical work has been done, all the carpentry has been done, we have all the materials for the solar. The solar is going to be installed off-site by a crew that's already been set up and is in place to make that happen. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to film that because I've got to be someplace different from where that's going to be. So Cece's not here, and I wanted her to be here because I know she wants to thank you guys for, for all pitching in. But I didn't want the fact that she's not here to make it so we didn't even show you you know where we're at with this and that we're on the home stretch on getting it completed she's going to get her solar installed by the same crews that were here off site later because we're running out of time we've got blm uh, time limitations so i'm guessing i'm going to run into cc somewhere down the line and we'll get some thank yous and we'll get showing you the solar and everything but the bottom line however it shakes out is thank you for doing the gofundme you guys thank you for pitching in on the materials it's it's you reed steampunk steve and uh, the installation crew on the fan or the solar. Wonderboom, John, Wonder Boom, everyone here. Is Wonder Boom around? No. No. He's, he's cleaning up. It's just a group effort that pitched in. She came here to get solar installed. Her van caught on fire. If you're watching this video and don't know the whole story, uh, it, it, it caught on fire before the van build started. Everybody pulled together to make her whole, and she's being made whole in spades. So thank you guys. And as more uh, of this installation becomes available, I'll do my best to have a camera handy so I can get it to you. But with that, thank you so much. Here, we're, we're getting it done. Here, she's got a new van. She started with uh, nothing after the fire, and now she's got a solid vehicle. Thanks to everybody that pitched in. So thanks a lot, guys. See ya. I got to see a little bit of the van last night, and it was so emotional. I mean, I was hugging everyone, and everyone was there. So we all had like a little mini celebration and I'm gonna walk over there now. You know, the sun just went down and do the final reveal, so to speak, to see it. And I'm just so excited and yeah. I know you don't really like being on camera and all that stuff. What do you say to the people that saw the video, saw what happened to you and uh, helped you out in crowdfunding this uh, van to get you back up on wheels? What would you like to say to them? I say to them 
that I love them and I heard them and I'm going to move forward with all of their encouragement and all the words that they gave me and I really took them to heart and you know the van everything that I own now is part of them and you and this, this community so yeah I just tell them thank you from the bottom of my heart I'm just so blessed and so grateful to be here and I'm just so positive for the future I'm glad we were able to take something that was unexpected and kind of looked like a travesty and because That's everybody crazy. helped out you know it took a bunch of people and it looks like you're gonna be back on wheels and business as usual Yes, I can't wait for the next event, and I'm just so excited to keep going now, you know? Yeah. Thank you so much, Jamie. By the way, we ended up with a few hundred bucks left over for CC to get clothes and things like that after the build, so I just wanted to give that to you. Thank you, Jamie. So Sweet. hopefully that'll be a new start to... Uh, get you back uh, whatever it was you lost that wasn't the van yes i mean i'm already set up with everything i have literally the best new coolest wardrobe ever <laughs> like Good. tie dye everywhere so yeah thank you so much guys in the background this is martin this is her boyfriend he came in from uh, his job in california to be here and offer his support and uh, he picked up a couple of things off of uh not, not necessarily the wish list we had online, but some things that she needed to fill in the gaps with her solar and so forth. So he's here pitching in and comforting her to get her through this. And because of you, it looks like everything's going to be okay. That was, that was a big, big, huge thing for me to be able to come out here. And, and I'm really grateful to, to the whole community for everything that you guys have done. And that's awesome how Jamie set all of this up. And that's super cool. Thank you so much.